You can't do this without getting arrested, but we can. Because anything is possible in a flight simulator. We stall airplanes, run them off runways, fly 737s upside down, all without hurting anyone or anything. We test the limits of humans and machines. Our services are for federal use and are available at no additional cost to federal agencies. Welcome to the FAA's Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center in Oklahoma City, where, hidden inside this structure, is the Flight Operations Simulation Branch, home of the only Level D equivalent aircraft simulators in the country dedicated to research. Well, it's pretty amazing because we're not just running a normal training activity, we're actually doing research. And we have a, the ability to simulate any type of airspace environment, any, any, any sort of situation. Level D certification offers the highest fidelity full motion flight simulation device available. We operate two simulators, commonly called SIMS, a Boeing 737NG and an Airbus 330, which is convertible to an A320 aerodynamic package and high-fidelity air traffic control simulator stations, allowing us to create realistic testing scenarios for essentially any condition that pilots, aircraft, and controllers might face. In our lab, we test people, equipment, systems, technologies, and procedures, including ADS-B, RNP and RNAV, performance-based operations, wake turbulence, closely spaced parallel operations, air traffic services, low visibility operations, upset recovery, enhanced vision systems, and head-up displays, all with eye-tracking monitoring, to name a few. So that's uh, what we do here. Uh, we're very good at doing that because we're set up for human-in-the-loop testing in full-motion flight simulators. And we're one of the few organizations that actually can do that, and we do it pretty well. Test design options include 30 airports coast-to-coast -coast with more possible. Weather conditions ranging from balmy blue skies to level 5 thunderstorms to raging blizzards, varying ambient lighting, any time of day or night, and different runway lighting configurations. Want gusting crosswinds? Continuous tailwinds? Wake turbulence? Zero zero conditions? Any scenario is possible. We work with you to design studies to fit your needs. We record the results for study and analysis, including pilot debriefing with video recaps and computer data files. If needed, our companion branch, the Flight Systems Laboratory, can be looped in to analyze that data. We can connect our lab via the next-gen prototyping network to research facilities and simulators across the country. This capability allows simultaneous operations from different locations in the same simulated airspace that can test new procedures and prototype equipment. That allows us to leverage our capabilities here in Oklahoma City with a lot of other research facilities around the country. So for example, uh, the Hughes Technical Center in Atlantic City, they have a very robust air traffic facility there. We just connected with the tech center and we were in Philadelphia and so our simulators were flying in the Philadelphia airspace. The tech center, they had their tower simulation in the Philadelphia airspace and so there they were in the tech center in Atlantic City looking at us here in Oklahoma City and we were talking to them on the radios flying in the Philadelphia airspace. It was really neat stuff that we were able to do with that and we were able to leverage the, the best capabilities of each facility. Our ability to link our aircraft simulators to our air traffic control station allows for real-time virtual terminal operations, providing pilot, controller, aircraft interface with sophisticated human-in-the-loop simulations. What makes that happen is a lot of creative people. I have a staff of pilots, human factors, engineering folks that are extremely innovative and have capacity to really use their creative thinking to go out and create any situation. We can do things with these simulators they weren't designed for, to be honest, and actually create an environment that meets most any research demand that there is here in the NAS. So come check us out. We're here for you.